Hi guys! So as you can see, I'm here with Matteo. Matteo Fumagalli. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first one she does a video with yeah. someone and she said, oh my god, I'm so excited. But yeah. I'm more excited because I have to taste yeah. some food, you said. Yeah, like you see in the description, we're going to make Matteo taste Romanian food for the first time. It's his first time. <laughs> okay. And uh, I think Karina is a very pa uh, talented fashion blogger, but also food blogger. Yeah, we'll see if at the end he still thinks I'm not talented Yeah, food I I'm sure she is. And uh, I also have a, a YouTube yes, channel. Yes, yeah. <laughs> a YouTube channel. He does book reviews and he's really funny and lovely and you should all follow him because he's the best. I cooked for him a lot yeah. of different uh, Romanian foods. Mm. And they look yummy. So we can yeah. start with the chorba. So okay. let me show you. Okay, it's a Maybe, soup. Yeah, it's a Romanian soup, which is sour because it has borscht inside. Borscht is a fermented liquid. Okay. So it's not to be confused with the Russian borscht, which is a reddish soup because of the beet. There are vegetables in it. Yeah. It seems good. I love okay. vegetables, so I think I like it. I'm a little scared about sour. Yeah. I don't know what to expect, but it's, I'm ready to go. It's very different from the Italian taste palette usually. Yeah. I'm also very adventurous about <laughs> uh, cuisine, so yeah. I smell like a sort of Chinese soup uh, <laughs> flavor. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it, for someone? <laughs> it's very weird. I know. But I like it. Because I love this. I love it too. Because when you taste, when you... I like the, the fact that the taste changes in your mouth. Yeah. Because when you, when you put the spoon in your tongue, it, uh, it tastes like normal soup. But then it changes. You get the sour kick. You get, you get the sour kick. After it's not immediate, mm -hmm. so it's pretty pretty interesting. Yeah, I love it. I uh, should I give a vote, a yeah. rating? Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I give it nine. Oh, that's very like good. Right. We spoke yeah. about borscht, so you should try borscht now. Yeah. This is so it looks like this. Like I said, it's a fermented liquid, which makes the soup sour. But you can also drink it. When I used to be little, my grandmother used to make homemade borscht and I would drink it with like cupfuls of borscht. Drink it and then No, smell. I want to smell it. <laughs> I don't know. You won't drink it. It's not that terrible. It, it smells like when you buy a new sofa. You know, uh, there's this kind of... Uh, we, like uh, a new thing. Let's try. <laughs> It's not bad. It's strange. A lot. <laughs> Let's just say it's an acquired taste. But yeah, it's strange, I know. Also, a lot of Romanians don't drink it like this. I just thought it would be funny to make this. <laughs> ah, thank you! <laughs> what the f I don't know. I, I like know. <laughs> it, but I I'm pretty confused after this. <laughs> if I should rate this, I think it would be... It's fine. I think a seven could go. Could go. So, yeah. This is Majun. It's like a jam. It, yeah. It, it has a it's kind very of, dark. Yeah, it has a very strange color. But it is a prunes jam. Oh, okay. It's made only of prunes. Let's give it a taste. Because it's only prunes also and it's not filtered. The texture this is, is good. A, yeah. And because it doesn't have, have added sugar, it's also not that bad. Yeah, it's not that, that sweet. I like the consistency. Mm -hmm. It's almost squishy. Yeah. I like love it. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's the best thing I had uh, for mm -hmm. now. I give it a 10. Yay for Romanian food. <laughs> yeah, I think Romanian food is made for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then? Then the next thing to really wash our taste buds, we're okay. going to try Tsuika. Not empty. There is. Yeah. Alcohol in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I dislike it with a passion. I don't like the smell. I don't. But like you have to it. drink it. Yeah, I put a teensy tiny bit just to. Just drink to, it with to 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 because when uh, when you drink with someone, you have to drink yeah, with exactly. someone. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so cheers. cheers. 
No. <laughs> no, because when you taste it, it's good. At the, at the, the first thing. Uh, you, uh, Romanians, uh, I, I think, after drinking a food, you like to trick the... <laughs> The taste buds. The, the taste buds, because uh, bef before you taste something and then it, it, it transforms. <laughs> when you put, when you drink, the first taste you you yes, yeah. you meet is pure alcohol, just like vodka. Yeah. Just like a grappa. Mm -hmm. It's universal. Yes. <laughs> okay. So it's good because I like grappa, but <laughs> then it comes this weird taste. I think I should be brave and then taste it to describe again. <laughs> Those are my feelings for today. No, 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 <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't like, no. But I, feel I took the tiniest, tiniest bit because I don't like it and I still feel it burning. Like I feel... But it's made of fruit. Yeah. Like... Prunes. Uh, like the majority. Prunes, okay. No, 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 no. Uh, please, uh, Romanians, save your prunes uh, for, for this. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> okay, no, I give it because I, I understand maybe some people who like it, but I gave it like, four. Yeah, four out, of, it four out of ten. Maybe. All the Romanians are saying, "What? Yeah, exactly. Our national drink? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like it. It's probably also against <laughs> me, but I said I don't okay. like it. I'm sorry. Well, I'm Italian. I don't like some national foods, so yeah, it's normal. It's normal. It's normal. The next thing we oh. have to keep it sweet. It's rum. What is, is it? A chocolate bar. Okay. With rum. <laughs> That's the name would suggest. It's really good. Okay. It's filled. Yeah, with the rum cream. Okay. Of course, it smells good because yeah. it's chocolate. It's very heavy. It's not that um, mm -hmm. thin chocolate, so I like it. Let's try. Mm. <laughs> It's impossible to do something bad with chocolate. Yeah. So it's not uh, bitter, but it's not too sweet. Yeah. And I like it. I think also the room helps with it, yeah. not to keep it too sweet. So Yeah, it, rem it reminds me of a very famous Italian snack. Which? It tastes exactly the same, which is Fiesta. I think the brioche. The yeah, fiesta? it's okay. a bri it's a brioche, so it's soft. Yeah, but it, it, tastes, it tastes the same, actually. Yeah. Hmm. So, cool. Yeah. Then, uh, uh, of course, uh, no, also... eight, nine out of ten. <laughs> Let's yeah. try. Um, but after the chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, like I was saying, everybody has this, and it's um, pickles. But the difference is in Italy, the pickles are made with. Um, sotaceto. Yeah, sotaceto. Which is. Sotaceto. Uh, in German, it's essig. In. In. Huh? Vinegar. vinegar, vinegar, it's exactly. With vinegar. And we make it with salamura or in Italian salamoya. Uh -huh. So they're a little bit. It smells different. like it smells like uh, the McDonald's one. Yeah, because it's similar to the American ones, I think, like the pickles. Pickle. It is a little bit stronger than the Italian ones you can find, for example. Yeah, that's why market. because it's stronger. But I like them. The last thing is the best. Well, chorba was the best for me, okay. but this is also the best, and I made it today, and it's, I can show you, the melanzani salad. I asked beforehand if he likes different things, not to give him anything too weird. I think you like this. The aubergines are roasted, and then they are almost like beaten mm. and cut, and then you mix them with the onions and I'm the... sorry, prunes, so this is the <laughs> best. <laughs> I also love it. It's, it's, uh, I, I adore vegetables and they're really, this is really um, saporito. I love it. <laughs> Cream, uh, you can um, also taste the onion, of course. Mm -hmm. I like onions. But you also feel like the, a little bit of charriness in the aubergines because yeah. they are roasted. Yeah. You really have to like uh, aubergines in order to like this melanzani salad. Mm. You have to like it. <laughs> uh, 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 even if you don't like aubergines, it's very, very, very good. I give it a 10. Yeah. yeah. So, overall, your mm. first Romanian food experience, a bit weird. <laughs> but you can cook. 
<laughs> you have some uh, weird experiences like uh, taste is changing in your mouth unexpectedly, <laughs> but I approve. My favorite thing is this one, of course, but I also like the, the jam. Yeah. The thing I said, uh, ah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Weirdest thing, this one. <laughs> this one, but I like it. Mm -hmm. It's very. I, you can you can feel uh, the healthiness. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you for the experience. I really liked it yeah. and enjoyed it. And uh, please subscribe to <laughs> Karina's channel and subscribe also to Matteo. So let's eat. Yeah. And uh, I uh, I hope you I hope you will also get angry seeing us. Uh, tasting these foods because they're very good. If you go to Romania, yeah. uh, traveling, uh, remember this because it's very, it's very good. So, yeah, maybe you'll also get inspired to try your local Romanian restaurant in case yeah, most cities have it. So, it's important to change. Uh, it was a fantastic experience. Yeah. Yeah. So, it was lovely having Matteo, and I'll yeah. see you next week. Have a fantastic day. Bye. Bye.